Hello everyone and welcome back to more Pokemon. We just, well I was about to say we got our 8th badge, it's not true, but we did beat our 8th gym and now we have to go about getting the 8th badge, so that'll be fun. Uh, we gotta go to some place called Dragon's Den? Mm -hmm. What's that all about? What, what's over there? Not much. Alright, cause I have no clue, I don't know anything about this. Once again, I'm very unfamiliar with Gen 2. All I know is... Uh, what do I know? I guess I knew some of the gym leaders because I've seen them around before, like visually, and that's about it. Maybe a lot of unfamiliarity, but whatever. Dragons, then we could do that, and then immediately after that, we're allowed to go to uh, Victory Road and take the long, arduous, stupid path to get to the Elite Four. Beat their asses and then take on the gym leader. I mean, champion. Beat his ass and then we're done. Yay! That should be very easy. Ideally. Probably won't be, though. Oh man, it's a dude. Hey, we were totally invited. We were dared to come here, actually. So what do you know, bitch? <laughs> It's annoying! Nice just kidding. What is that? I just noticed that up there. What? That pink thing. Uh, uh, a stackable plush. Looks funny. Yeah. No, no, I kind of see it every so often. I'm like, what is it? I don't even remember when it got there. Well, when I, first, uh, when I went over to Bush Gardens the first time when it was like heavy rain. <laughs> Ah, right. Over there, um, her co-worker uh, got it for me when we came out of that line. That's cute. It's cute. I didn't even notice it. Yeah. They all have repetitive names if you look at it. Of course they do. Oh, hey, look, it's a sham wow, but it's not our sham wow. <laughs> Anyway, so what can we gab on about today? Or, well, I guess today, yeah. Episodes are days apart, even though they aren't really. Um, I did. I remember one of my favorite things about Tumblr, like one of my favorite Tumblrs to find, is uh, um, incorrect quotes Tumblrs. Have you ever seen any of those? No. They're fucking funny. Basically, they, they're they they're all based on their own specific piece of media. The most recent one I found, just uh, like before we started recording, was a Xenoblade Chronicles X incorrect quotes Tumblr. And basically, it takes a quote or a series of quotes from literally any other piece of media, but applies it to the characters from this piece of media. So, what's a good example? I, I saw a few, and I really wish I had committed some of them to memory because they were pretty good. Let's see. Oh, here I go. Um, there's a there's a moment in uh, Deadpool where uh, he cuts his own ha arm off to escape the the, uh, the handcuffs, right? That, uh, that Colossus has him in. And he says, hey, have you ever seen 127 hours? Spoiler alert, you know, and then he cuts his arm off. So, uh, there's a scene in Xenoblade Chronicles X where one of the characters gets their arm blown off, and the the incorrect Xenoblade quote was that character saying, Hey, ever see 127 hours? Spoiler alert. And it's basically like that. They take moments from the game where they, from the game that they're using, in this case Xenoblade Chronicles X, where they can apply quotes to it from other things, and they just and they give it to you in either a single quote format or in an exchange format, like a play sort of thing. And they're all hilarious because it's all amazingly accurate in its own really funny way. So there's just some good stuff about that that I love. Now there were some Batman ones in there too that I thought were pretty great. Oh, you save one with Thundershock? Then you get- I get to fight you! <laughs> oh, asshole. Don't do that. It's like you knew. Still super effective either way. Oh, cause he's psychic too. Yeah. Idiot! Uh, once again, it's just those types of things are amazing. You should definitely go uh, try to find one. Uh, nine times out of ten, they'll make you laugh. 
just because you think about if you especially if you know the scenario that they're ripping off basically and then applying it to these other characters that you do know it's even funnier that way so definitely check that out you're gonna get a chance there are a lot they're seriously everywhere uh, it's like incorrect quotes tumblr they're a thing i don't know where they came from but they're amazing okay i'm like uh, whirlpool, whirlpool is a whirlpool? thing in this game yeah i didn't know that and waterfall as well Mm -hmm. You know, in a perfect world, Surf would just accomplish all these tasks. Yeah. Oh well. Then again, was were there even whirlpools in XY? I don't remember. I do remember waterfalls, not whirlpools. Oh, hey, look, a Tyranitar. Man, that was a long tangent. But it was really it funny. Was. Yeah. It's like, what? Eight minutes in already? How long did I spend on the incorrect quotes thing? Hmm. It's funny, though. Like, I love those things. Oh, hey, what's up? Do we have to fight all these guys? Or is this it's just a test? Cheating. No, cheating! Why is turkey not an option? Why is he even asking us all these questions? I think it depends on what, which ones you choose and what order and stuff like that. That you get different items. Wait, what did he ask? God damn it. He's just asking, what did you say? You can't give us options and then shit on us when we choose the option you don't like. That's bullshit. That is seriously horseshit. I wouldn't be too sure about that. It's just silence right now. Is it? Yeah. No music? No nothing? No. Oh. No, it is. <laughs> okay. Well, that's awkward. Rising badge. There, we got all eight. How do you like that? Seriously, dude, bro. Come on. I said I like tough Pokemon. There's nothing wrong with that. Old geezer. So where we go now? Should be heading to, uh, to the Victor Road now. Ooh, a TM. What could it possibly be? Oh. God damn it, these TMs. <sighs> yeah, she's telling us to go. Seriously? Wow, we gotta go all the way over that. Yeah. So dumb. And also, all these TMs suck. Same thing here. There it is. It's nerd. A stupid potion. You're a nerd. I can't help it. If it's empty, there's gotta be something there. Probably. Anyway, what day is it again? <laughs> now I, I always I always forget this kind of stuff. I'm not that smart. Uh, it's Thursday. I always end up asking a lot of times, like in real life. I was just joking this time, maybe, sort of, kind of. Probably not. Regardless, uh, what else was I gonna say? Huh. I forgot to get water. That would have been helpful right now. Probably. Um, shit. I don't know. Uh, I did. I just, man, I've been fucking, I've never used the Wii U more, I think, like, in these last few weeks as I did ever before. Like, wow. 
Xenoblade Chronicles X, definition of a time sink. I think the only other game that drained that much time away was uh, Hyrule Warriors. Because that game was also designed to just be like, endless. And even now, it's the, the 3DS version is still getting so much more content, it's like, people will never finish that fucking game. <laughs> like, not at least in its entirety, I definitely won't. So, wow. But man, it was it was a good time. It was 130 hours well spent. That's for sure. And I get to do it again in a few days, I think. It's Thursday, Friday, so probably by next week. I don't know when next week, but sometime next week I'll be able to start Xenoblade X all over again and get to re-experience the joy and the horror. Hopefully not the heartache of the game again, because holy shit, that game gave me serious heartache. Like, holy fucking shit. Almost every time I was in, like, a story cutscene, I was worried something bad was gonna happen. And while bad things did happen, never, like, anything hugely terrible that I was worried about would ever happen, which was good, because I didn't want anything hugely terrible to happen. We were already in a shit spot. Throw some shit away right now. Now you have a lot of stuff. So it's just a matter of setting everything up for, uh, traveling and stuff? Yeah. Because we have to go somewhere, and then we have to sail all the way there, and then we have to go through this whole trial, and then we'll get there. Mm -hmm. Man. Also, the, uh, Elm just called. What do you want? He gave me the Master Ball. Oh, just like that? Yeah. Where did he even get it? What's that mean? Well, regardless, we got a massive ball, so yay, I guess. Use it on something, maybe. Who knows? Probably use it on a roving legendary right now. There's still one. Entei. Right. Or so Sui -kun, um. Entei. <laughs> Entei Sui -kun. So this so, is how we have to start. But the Indigo League is all- I mean, the League is all the way on the other side. Yeah. So where are we going? Like, are we going all the way around? This is the way. This is- what? Oh, right, I was thinking of something else. I was- I thought that the League was that other island all the way on the left. But no, that was that yeah. other town where we fought Chuck. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, this would be a very long, frustrating trip. It'd be like swimming to Caldros. Which I didn't do, because I knew I wouldn't have the patience for it. Shit's nuts, bro. I thought he was gonna fight us. No, just a random dude. Oh! Yeah, technically we're on the counter. We're in the Kanto region yeah. right now? Yeah. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, we are. So the league is the same the league? league? Yeah. It just has different Elite Four and a different champion? Uh, well, they moved around, but yeah. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Like, I knew that you had access to Kanto, but I assumed that that was, like, just yeah, endgame stuff. They're next to each other. These regions were always so close. That's cool. I have nobody with Waterfall right now? Really? No, you didn't teach anyone Waterfall, you just taught someone Whirlpool. That makes sense. More attack options is never a bad thing. <laughs> I was trying to read your face. 
That was weird. Yeah, I remember it being that way. <laughs> I just got here and you're gonna fight me? What's the matter with these people? They don't have manners at all. Whoa. So we got more Pokemans, we got more Pokemans, and we're gonna finish Pokemon soon, hopefully. Hurry up. Get to the Elite Four. Right now. You have 60 seconds. This shit will be crazy. So we're not gonna- we're gonna wind up not doing any of the other stuff, um... The Kanto stuff. I'd like to, but, uh... It really depends on you. Yeah, I don't have the time, so... Okay. You know. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be down to the wire. I assumed that we'd get the game done a lot earlier, but once again, fucking... I sank 130 hours into Xenoblade. That was a lot of time. You know, obviously. So I don't have uh, much time left. I'm planning on heading back. Uh, I guess whenever uh, my older sister, uh, Gamer Bunny, leaves. I actually don't know. She's supposed to be coming here today, and then uh, going with my other sister somewhere, and then coming back. I don't know when, and then leaving. I don't know when. But I'm pretty sure Monday at the latest. I could be wrong. Uh, regardless, whenever that is, I'll be able to record more Kingdom Hearts and FNAF World and edit those last two episodes of Cartilla that I left sitting back there. And other things. I have so much to edit and so much to do and I'm gonna walk, go back with all these episodes of Pokemon too that I need to edit as well. It's gonna be fun. And all the while that I have to do all that editing, I'm gonna be playing Xenoblade again, so... Shit. That's a lot of work that isn't actually work. I honestly don't know when they're coming back, though. So. I, mean, I, was, I, should, I was gonna ask yesterday, and then I forgot, so... Uh, I think Sunday. Sunday or Monday. Yeah, that was my guess, but I don't know. We shall see. In the meantime, this Pokemon game needs, uh, needs to get be given a thorough spanking, so... Oh yeah, and our Ampharos has water moves. It's not weird at all. <laughs> Next time I would love to fuck with the types and the movesets. Man, wouldn't that be a hassle? Yeah. That'd be great. Then you play! <laughs> Never! Or at the very least, the move sets, because then in that way you don't have to. It doesn't have to be a guessing game with the enemies, because if their types get randomized out, you won't know what moves of yours are effective against them. They might get randomized out and become ghosts, and all of a sudden you're totally useless. But uh, if the if the types stay the same, but the moves are randomized, that'd be pretty cool. You never know what you're gonna get, and you have an entire team of Pokemon with Sacred Fire. That'll be something. At the end of the day, it's just another move, so... Oh, hey, look, it's a Heracross. Yay, I love Heracross. Wow, he owned you. Wow. That's one tough bug. You gonna be up to anything later? What? You gonna be up to anything later when we finish recording? Uh, like what? I don't know, just doing anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I probably... What am I gonna do? 
I'm definitely not gonna edit. Fuck that. I'm done. I already edited and uploaded 14 episodes. I might, I might actually at least put episode 15 up, you know. <laughs> For some reason, I have a weird connection with the number 15. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, when I left off recording Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, it was episode 15 that I left off on, and then I was away for forever before I came back with episode 16. I think the same happened with Kingdom Hearts. I think the last episode of Kingdom Hearts that went up was 15 as well. It's just really weird. A lot of the times, whenever I have to stop temporarily for a reason, it's always 15. I'm not entirely sure, so... I guess for now, I'll actually I'll at least edit and upload that one. But after that, the rest are just gonna sit there in their unedited state until later, when I don't have to worry about the computer overheating or any other bullshit that will be very annoying. So that'll be good. What else do I need to do? I don't know. And then after that, I might play some more Xenoblade. 130 hours is not enough. I I originally didn't want to play anymore because I finished the game yesterday and I didn't want to play anymore simply because like there's a bunch of post game stuff and all stuff but I'm gonna wait to do that until I finish the game again but I kind of want to hang out in the post game world at least for a little bit before I have to do the other 130 hours again so yeah just see what's up shouldn't be too bad gonna get some repels it might help. Yeah. As well using items in battle. Which is not... That's not a Nuzlocke rule, right? If you want to be, yeah. Yeah, but it's not like the default. Like, the default is just if a Pokemon faints in battle, it's dead forever. And you can only catch, uh, like, the first Pokemon you encounter in the area. Unless it's a duplicate. Yeah, those are like the only actual rules for a Nuzlocke. Anything else is like customized. Because when Jared did his Nuzlocke, uh, his first one, he didn't mind using items, but he, he hated using items in battle. I'm not sure why. It was it was more like a pride slash personal thing, um, which you know, pride and stupidity are very very closely related. And uh, all his other uh, Nuzlocke, he's actually made that an official rule that he can't u heal in battle. He can't use items in battle. Which kind of explains why he lost every single Nuzlocke after the first one. He's very stubborn in that way. Granted, all the Nuzlocke he's done have been fun to watch, but uh, wow. He gets his butt kicked. I would never do a Nuzlocke. I'd do like a fake Nuzlocke, where if the Pokemon faints, I'll just put it in my box and not use it again. But I'm not going to give it away. I'll just hold it on hand. That's what I would do. Oh, right, you have a bike. I totally forgot. Haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, we won a challenge of Pokemon League, but you're in the way. Nerd. Aw, it's a Psyduck. The absolute worst Pokemon ever. I don't know, is Psyduck good? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. If anything, it's just based off the anime. He was really annoying in the anime. Yeah. That irritated me real a lot. Good that he's gone now, and I hope to never have to see him again. I wonder what happened to Jigglypuff. Yeah, that thing just kind of disappeared. It stopped following them. Yeah. Good, I hope it never comes back either. Maybe it was following them, and then, like, a car hit it. That's the Pokemon fan theory I can get behind. It's really mellow t right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got off the topic of, uh... Anime manga, and, uh, that was good. And now, don't really have another one. I have a lot to say about Xenoblade, but I'm saving all that for uh, its own video, its own separate one, but I'm gonna record when I get back over there. Alright, so all I have to say right now is that fucking awesome game, and that's really it. Anything else is like a spoiler. Because I, I did a video on why Xenoblade Chronicles was my favorite game ever of all time. I, don't remember, I did that a long time ago though, and I'm pretty sure if I redid it now it would be much better than that one. 
Uh, but the thing is, I avoided spoilers in that video for no real good reason. So I feel like I should redo that video and do the first half non-spoilery, which is basically like a remake of the video, and do the rest of it actually talking fully on about the game. But before that, that's what I'm going to do with Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'm going to make a whole video talking just about how amazing it is and everything I can think about it uh, without spoiling anything at the beginning. And then I'll give a fair spoiler warning for the end. Uh, usually people never really understand the reason for spoiler warnings, but in this specific case, with both Xenoblades, spoiling any element of the story of the game is a fucking crime that should be punishable by death. Or like getting your IP banned or something equivalent. I don't know. Like seriously, in, in those game specific cases, don't. Um, like it's hard to convince someone to play a game if you refuse to tell them too much about the game. But, you know, there is a lot that you can still tell them that should get them into it. And if they're not interested, oh well. Fine. Then don't tell them anything and they'll eventually look it up because they're bored. That's what I do. I, by the way, I actually looked up and read the story for Fire Emblem Fates. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was a Wikipedia truncated, very short version, though, you know. Uh, so I I missed I guess some of the other points. Like I don't understand some of the things that I read. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, whatever. It's about what I expected. It's like I'm glad no one's waving that game around as a prime example of storytelling finesse in the world. Like. When you have Monolith Soft fucking releasing Xenoblade Chronicles and then following it up with Xenoblade Chronicles X and delivering incredible stories and amazing characters, in the same world that you're hoisting those games up, you know, you really shouldn't ever mention Fates in any sort of positive way. In regards to its uh, story, at least. Because holy shit, that was bad. Everything I read about it, and the characters also pretty shitty. So, I even read some people go into detail on it. And, uh... Like, not read, I watched a few videos recently about people going in on talking about the characters and story and how they sucked. Uh, the people still recommended the games because the games are fun, but... Like, the gameplay's fine, but... Man, according to them, the story and the characters are really shitty, and... That's a pretty big thing about Fire Emblem when you consider that's why you're doing what you're doing, and who you're doing it with. So... Whatever. I mean, I look at the characters, I'm like, you guys look shitty. I'm not surprised to find out that most of them were actually shitty. Whatever. And again, I think the fan base saying, no, they're not bad, is the same people who say characters like, I don't know, fucking Tarja, or Inigo, or... Um, what's another terrible character? I don't know, characters like them are good, or interesting characters, and it's like, they're not. You just think they are, but they really aren't. There's nothing interesting about either of those. Terrible characters. Oh well. No more negativity. Give me something positive. Oh, sorry. Well, how about that cousin of Oak? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just saw uh, Oak has a cousin, uh, a Lolan Oak. <laughs> I forgot what his name was. What's Professor Oak's first name? Uh, Samuel. Samuel Oak. Yeah. And what's this guy's name? A booze. I don't even know what I'm thinking of the phone with Samsung. <laughs> so, Samson. It might Samson, have been Samson. Samson. So Sam and Sam, their parents sucked. I mean, I know they're not directly related. They're cousins, but still. Uh, Samuel's parents sucked and Samson's parents sucked for doing that. Uh, but it's cool. Uh, once again, uh, that, 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 that footage of him came out in Japanese yesterday. And people thought that was Oak. Um, and then, no, it's his uh, cousin. I think they actually said later that night that it was his brother, but now today they said it's his cousin. Like, they gave the official English release of the information. So now people no longer are confused. So that's good. Very interesting. I didn't expect that. I wonder, did they say anything about what he's gonna do in the games, or...? No, it's just, uh, like, I, I went to the website, nothing, not much. It's just, uh, meet Oak. That's it. Now here's Oak. He's a dude. He hangs out in Alola. That's it. Alright. That's fine. I, I'm interested to see what else, uh, what he's all about. Um, he, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know what else to say. Uh, interested a lot about Sun and Moon, so, yeah. We'll undoubtedly be getting more Sun and Moon news next week. And the week after. 
and the week after, until it finally comes out in November. Right? Mm -hmm. And we're in September? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not too far off. That'll be a thing. Anyway, uh, that'll be the end of this episode. Yes. Where are we, anyway? Just a route? Yeah. We're not even at Victory Road yet? Yeah. Man. Mm. What? It's gonna take a bit to get there, but what do we expect? There it is. There it is! Shouldn't take too long. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, next time, we'll continue on our way to the Indigo League and do awesome things. But that'll be next time. Again, next time. So see you next time, because next time we'll be doing things next time. Until then, hasta!